is up YouTube? It's RS Mario here bringing you another uh, Super Nintendo Switch video. All right, so uh, I re-recorded this part, so I'm gonna change clothes. <laughs> I'm gonna change shirts in a little bit, but this is my Super Nintendo Switch video. So some interesting information has come out about the Super Nintendo Switch, and of course, if you've been following me for any length of time on this channel, you know that I am a huge proponent of the Super Nintendo Switch. Now, if you don't know what that is, it's basically the next, or at least what I hope the next Nintendo console is going to be called. Uh, we don't know if it's gonna be Super Nintendo Switch, but that's the ideal name for it. Uh, so, of course, we got some new information on that. Uh, if you wanna continue getting videos like this from me, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell button, do all that good stuff that YouTube requires you to do to, to continue getting videos from me. Um, follow me at twitter.com slash rsmario128 like the video tweet share the video tweet now we'll shout you out at the end of the video let's get into the video boy oh boy do we have some news to talk about today uh, it is uh, Super Nintendo Switch time it's looking, it's looking as real as it ever has been it's looking as real as it's been since gosh probably pro pro probably the daggone um Bloomberg leaks, which I will continue to talk about until the day I die, because I believe they were right, <laughs> okay? Uh, but yeah, so we're going to go ahead and talk about this. So essentially, this is coming from the big Federal Trade Commission versus Microsoft court case de delegation tribunal, whatever they're calling this, all right? And so much stuff has come out of this. And I feel like I should start up my news, my news, my news series on the second channel uh, to start covering this because when I was doing my news videos on this channel, I was all over what was going on between Sony, Microsoft, the FTC, the the, the freaking British version of the FTC. Like Nintendo got sucked into it. Like in in the last news video I did, like the FTC actually, you know, wanted to talk to Nintendo executives because of the 10 year uh call of duty deal which is also involved in this whole super nintendo switch, uh, switch situation i gotta talk about this so all right so this uh we start off with this article i believe i got this from my nintendo news i think i can't remember i honestly can't remember where i got this one from so it's no secret that the new nintendo platform has been in the works as the company isn't going to sit on the switch forever According to Kotec, it will be closer to Generation 8 power or PlayStation 4 slash Xbox One, in other words. So something along the lines of, you know, PS4, Xbox One, maybe even PlayStation 4 Pro is possible. You know what I'm saying? Uh, something between, you know, PS4 and PS5. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it's going to be PS5 because a portable PS5 will be too much money. And I think Nintendo really, the, the two things that Nintendo are thinking about when it comes to a new console, you know, is one, especially if they're going to continue with the portable model, which is what they should do. Um, they're thinking about power and they're thinking, no, they're thinking about power as in battery power, battery life and cost. You know what I'm saying? They don't want it to cost too much. You know what I'm saying? And that's honestly perfect for them because the Switch is the perfect secondary console. Like, I have a PlayStation 4, hopefully a PlayStation 5 soon, and a Switch. You know what I'm saying? And it's if the Switch's price point stays at a pretty good point, they can always be that way. You can always have the Switch as a secondary system, which works because this way you're not directly in the console war. And you're not trying to beat Microsoft and Sony and now cutting edge. No, you're always the second console that everybody has. Even PC people have switches, you know. So to continue on, uh, Kotak was also asked if Activision would release Call of Duty games on future hardware if the Microsoft Activision falls through. That prompted him to say it's possible and the company would consider the specs. Kotec would go on to say that Activision would need detailed specs to consider future uh, plans. Few details from the emails between Activision and Nintendo were made known. 
So it is unclear how much was shared between the two about Big N's next generation platform. But uh, but Bobby Kotek also said, given closer alignment to Generation A platforms, our previous offerings on PS4 slash Xbox One, it is reasonable to assume that we can make something compelling for the next generation Switch as well. So basically, they're probably going to port their PS4, PS, I mean Xbox One games over to the Switch. So expect Modern Warfare 2, uh, you know, Warzone, Warzone 2, stuff like that, which is honestly fine. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, even though I don't know if I'll be picking up the new Call of Duties for various different reasons, but it will be honestly fine. And this actually kind of puts some things into perspective, particularly the Call of Duty deal in general. So a lot of people, um, you know, were talking about the Call of Duty deal when they announced it, that uh, Microsoft would be putting new Call of Duty games with feature parity on Nintendo consoles for the next 10 years. Uh, and they were doing this as a way to prove that they were not trying to monopolize and that they were trying to play nice with other game consoles so that they could get approved by the, by the Federal Trade Commission, which it didn't work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so this would, this would kind of reveal exactly why they did that if, you know what I'm saying, they, because they knew something was coming down the pike that would allow them to make, you know, at least somewhat on par call of duty ports with whatever they're doing on the main consoles <clears throat> the other thing is uh, uh the other thing this also answers a question from my my news video as to why the ftc was looking into certain nintendo executives because i mean technically if there was some sort of leak about the capabilities of the next generation system to microsoft which would have you know what I'm saying? Which would have, uh, like, you know, kind of encouraged them to make this deal. That's a whole nother thing altogether. Because that means that somebody said something about the capabilities of the next console, which would have made Microsoft go, oh, yeah, we could probably work with that. You know what I'm saying? It could be Bobby Kotek if he was communicating with Nintendo, or it could be an executive trying to get this deal going. Because the executive that they wanted to talk to did loosely have connections to the, the CEO of Microsoft. So, bro, it, it's, it's been crazy, all right? Like, the, it's been crazy what's been coming out about this. And, of course, I've been beating the drum about the next generation Switch for a long time. Now, this actually kind of pairs over into something that came out a couple days ago by the time you get this video, uh, and that was Shintaro Furukawa saying that they will use Nintendo accounts to help move people over to the new console as far as their accounts go. So it says, uh, as for the transition to next generation consoles, in the past, hardware was the only way for us to connect with our customers. And we had to rebuild relationships with our customers when the hardware became new. On the other hand, the Nintendo Switch, with the Nintendo Switch, we are now able to connect directly with various customers through Nintendo accounts. Uh, Nintendo accounts have been created by many people around the world, including those from mobile apps as well as dedicated con game consoles. And the number of accounts have reached over 290 million. Uh, we are committed to ensuring a successful transition from Nintendo Switch to next generation consoles uh, by leveraging Nintendo accounts. So basically, I'm thinking that the games that you buy on this console, you know, as far as like maybe, you know, like indie games, digital games, will, will be able to be moved over to the new console, which could open up a very interesting possibility, and that is backwards compatibility. Uh, right now, backwards compatibility is probably the biggest thing people want from a new console outside of like graphical power and whatnot. So yeah man you know what i'm saying so i mean this i'm not i'm not saying it's going to be because i don't know i don't want to get you hype and then turns out it's not true but it's a possibility though and the fact that they're even talking about this means that we're probably going to be getting something sooner rather than later which parodies over <laughs> into hot girl videos 69 
uh, my favorite account here on on uh, Twitter uh, is this prediction Nintendo hardware uh, information will leak this summer related to upcoming 4k iteration and new edition of Nintendo switch potential leak on two separate devices for different slash existing audiences weird language so I'm, I'm guessing he's saying that maybe there's going to be some weird language within the marketing. Uh, but yeah, it will be kind of interesting because I can definitely see them doing two different versions of the console. Uh, a portable console like the regular Switch and doing more of a uh, like a hardware version, like a regular console version of the, of the system. I can see them doing that. And like the, the console version will be 4K. And the portable version will be like 1080p. You know what I'm saying? I can see them doing that. No problem. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that's that's actually kind of a no-brainer. And if you think about it, some people are gonna buy both. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you can like still move your games from the portable console to the to the TV console. Like if you can still do that some kind of way, yeah, people are gonna buy both of those. I'm not gonna buy both of those because <laughs> Again, uh, I mean, money just ain't flowing like that. You know what I'm saying? Your boy, your boy ain't broke, but your boy ain't rich either. Uh, so, you know, but yeah, I can see them doing this. This is actually a really good idea. Now, Hot Girl Video 69 has had a lot of other things that I have covered from them. Specifically, the, the uh, Nintendo buying Stadia. You know what I'm saying? And Stadia becoming like this kind of white label product that they just kind of lease or license out to people. And if that's the case, they could use that that uh, that that the Stadia's cloud technology to kind of help with the new system. Which leads me to the last tidbit of information here: Nintendo Live. So uh, we all know that that their Nintendo is going to do their first ever, well, not first ever, but first in a long time Nintendo Live event in Seattle this year in September. And the only reason why I could think they would do that is if they want to show you a brand new console. Do I know that they're going to drop the console then? No. But the best possible place to do it would be then. Because if they do it then, I mean, I mean, you, you'll actually be able to play it. Because the one thing about the, about the Wii U when the Wii U was first announced, the marketing was so weird. You know what I'm saying? That you didn't really get what it was. A lot of people thought the Wii U was a controller for the Wii. But it turns out then, you know, Nintendo had to come back later and be like, no, it's actually a brand new console completely. You know what I'm saying? And you didn't really understand it until you got it in your hands. Well, now with Nintendo Live, you will get it in your hands when they announce it so you'll know what they're talking about. So, that's about it for this. Hopefully, I'm right. <laughs> uh, I mean, because I've been beat, I've been beating the Super Nintendo Switch drum for so long. <laughs> so long. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What do you think about it? You know what I'm saying? If you want to know more about me talking about the Super Nintendo Switch, you can look at any of my videos on it. I might make a playlist for you guys. Because, uh, honestly, I've been talking about this since, like, 2020. <laughs> for years. You know what I'm saying? I've been talking about all the leaks, the, the freaking Bloomberg leaks. Watch the Bloomberg video, okay? Because I, I honestly think that it's right. So that's about it for this. Like, comment, subscribe, and as always, people, keep it real.